This vocal chain consists of the Norman U87 going into the Neve 5211 and then into the Universal Audio 6176. And we toggle and we change up things and we're going to let you guys know exactly how we make that work. If I turn up the input, I'm increasing the compression and it actually, that's a little bit much there. And if I crank that output to signal signal out, this is a pretty decent amount of compression right here. I have my attack set to about three on the 6176 and I have my release set to fast, which is all the way up to nine. And it sounds fantastic from there. So let's talk about this vocal chain. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio where I do all of my music production, recording, mixing, mastering, film, post audio music work. I am your host Archie Beats and today we are diving deep into my most used vocal chain in 2023. We're going to actually talk about the significance of it. We're gonna let you guys know how to connect it all. But before we get started, if you're interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio, be sure to check the description below. I have everything listed down there. And if you're new to my channel and you like videos like this, vocal chain, music production, film stuff, all types of cool audio and music creation stuff, hey, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video. This vocal chain consists of the Norman U.S. 87 going into the Neve 5211 and then into the Universal Audio 6176 and we toggle and we change up things and we're going to let you guys know exactly how we make that work. So first of all, let's talk about the U87. The Norman U87 comes in at around $3,600 and the reason why I prefer this microphone is because it is clean, transparent, it's hot. We getting straight to the point. We're not going to give any hoopla or anything like that. We getting straight to the point. The Norman U87 is a clean transparent and safe play microphone and you can switch up different things if you don't like the default sound out of it by using its switches on it such as the pad and the roll off and if you want to change it to polar pattern you can do that as well you can change the figure eight omni or cardioid like i'm talking on it now which is the hard shape picks up a little bit on the side not at the back a little bit at the back but it's not designed to pick up at the back unless you change it to figure eight which if you look from the top and if you could see the way the audio is picking up it will look like the number eight picks up at the front a little bit on the side a lot on the back so that's how that works. and omni picks up all the way around with that i'm going into my 6176 or my knee 5211 my knee 5211 is defaultly that's what i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to that most of the time unless i'm trying to do a super analog warm song and then i'm gonna use that 610 pre on the 6176 because it's that it's one of Bill Putnam's greatest design, greatest work. Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., anybody that you can think of, Michael Jackson, they pretty much recorded on the, the legendary 610 tube pre, which is outstanding. But the reason why I'm going out of my U87 into my Neve 5211 two channel mic pre is because it has a certain Neveness to it. It has a certain 1073. And a lot of you guys are like, Archie, it doesn't sound like the 1073. Um, it sounds modern. It sounds really modern. And especially when you hit the silk button, it's something about this silk circuitry here. When I hit it and I initiate it, we get that nice, you hear that? I cranked it all the way up. You get that nice harmonics, that nice silky analog, sweet harmonics. And I just love the way it sound. And it pairs great with the output transformed signal from the output transformer to U87 going into that Neve pre like that and it just re makes it sound really great i don't do any type of eqing i go into the 1176 compressor side and i split the signal off going directly into my 6176 which is the 1176 side and i set the compression to moderate so if we you're going to hear this if i turn up the input i'm increasing the compression and it actually that's a little bit much there and if i crank that output to signal signal out this is a pretty decent amount of compression right here i have my attack set to about three on the 6176 and i have my release set to fast which is all the way up to nine and it sounds fantastic from there so i want to play some audio for you all of two songs that i released that utilize this and i'm going to show you some plugins as well if the sky starts to crumble and fall on my head you're there you're there 
And angry mom starts to gather and pull me out my bed You're there You're there Well, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, we have a lot of vocal chain videos coming out. We're gonna be jumping from different microphones and different pre's and different compressors. And it's just gonna be a really fun ride. And I'm also going to show you guys my film setup for dialogue, such as what I use for, for example, Jaleel White, Mr. Steve Urkel, um, and, and just several actors, what I use for their vocals in several different types of short films and feature films. And we're gonna have so much fun with that so so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see stuff like that comment film in the comment section below and i would do some of that as well for you all so don't forget to be great and create if you have any questions comment them below this is your boy Beats, and i'm signing off